Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up source control or version control in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2. Here's my server where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2. And here's my client. We're going to go ahead and fire up client. All right, in order to get, uh, in order to set up your source control or version control, you need to get to uh, application object tree. In order to get quickly to application object tree, you press control D and it'll take you to AOT, as you can see right here, AOT. So in order to set up the version control, you click on version control in AOT and you click on version control parameters as you can see in the beginning by default the version control is disabled so first thing we're going to do is enable the version control and you have about like four options what you can choose as a version control in Microsoft Dynamics AX first is source depot other is visual source safe Morphix VCS and team foundation server in this particular demo we're going to set team foundation server as our version control so we're gonna go ahead and select team foundation server the next thing we're going to set is repository folder this is your local repository so you're gonna go ahead and click on this folder icon any modification or any source coding you do in your environment it's going to be saved first in uh, your local repository and then you can go ahead and check in in your version control which in this case is team foundation server so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my PC and give the root you can uh, this is my Dynamics AX folder where I wanted to save all my customization that I make to the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 code I wanted to keep it in this uh, folder so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes click OK couple options environment setting up here that uh, if uh, any object that is checked out in T team foundation server and you would like to see a different color in AOT you need to have this option checked out and other is if you're trying to revert the objects and you wanted to see the warning you can go ahead and select that option as well our next target is we're gonna go ahead and set up our team foundation server for this you need to know your team foundation server URL up here is just HTTP for now but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put our team foundation server URL up here in my case I'll put it up here a lot of folks think that if you click on this little icon up here which is Internet Explorer it's going to actually show you that if it's available on your particular local machine that's not the case whatever you put up here it's going to validate and that's how we're going to validate and it's very important and it's very quick if you actually cl click on this uh, Internet Explorer and connect to your team foundation server because other options right here team foundation server project name branch folder application root, root folder they will you can see it actually in your team foundation server and just copy paste it so in my case is TBS TFS and my port is 8080 TFS this is uh, my um, team foundation server URL so I'm gonna go ahead and click to make sure that I do connect with my team foundation server before I set it up as a version control parameter in my AOT so we're gonna click on keep uh, using Internet Explorer this is the web access of my team foundation server as you can see right here is the basic URL of my team foundation server and here is my team project uh, under the collection if you have uh, uh, more collections than default then um, and you're you have permission to to go there it'll show up here but this is the tech brothers team this is my team project and I'm gonna go ahead and actually click on that so that I can go ahead and copy paste this is my default collection if you have another collection and you have permissions it'll show up there in your web access so we're gonna go ahead and select just the team project because that is needed in our setup up here it says team foundation project name we're gonna go ahead and 
just paste that there. The branch folder, if you go back to your uh, uh, access and click on, uh, uh, this is the, again, the TFS uh, 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 browser access. We're gonna go ahead and click code. And up here, under your team project, you will see the branches. It has a little icon right here. That's the branch icon. So wherever you are checking in, if you have permission to check in, mostly all the developers first, they are connected with the dev branch. And then from there, they merge their code between main and production. So up here is your dev branch. So we're gonna go ahead and give the name dev branch or whatever the branch name is in your organization connected with your uh, team foundation server and you wanted to uh, check in your code in a specific branch you can give that branch uh, folder right here um, and where if you click on this right here is your, is your local uh, repository and right up here is your branch folder in your TFS but if you wanted to do it in your uh, local repository then you can go ahead and basically say the dev branch so that you can sync between team foundation server dev branch and your local repository dev branch or your main branch or your production branch however you wanted to work it out so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put application root folder if you wanted to take a quick look right here is my dynamics ax folder and right here is my dev branch so what it's gonna do if we put a dev branch up here is gonna create a definition folder in there and create the setup environment up there so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and it's gonna give us a little message that pending C dev definition and this is our uh, VCS definition XML folder. So we're gonna go ahead and see basically if that's been created. So we're gonna go ahead and click on my computer and Dynamics AX dev branch. And as you can see right here is definition folder and this is VCS definition XML file. So this is how basically you set up your version control uh, using application object tree. And I hope this video helps.